what's going on man name's reggie a little introduction to my channel which hopefully will be something better than a iphone video a little later i got uh one of my mini projects here my 96 chevy impala ss um kind of did a lot to the car kind of didn't um just kind of a bill to keep in a budget um, I guess this is like my first little introduction or whatever. I ain't gonna put my face on this video. I'm looking kind of crazy right now. I need a haircut, but um, you know, just an introduction to my channel, man. Um, just a regular fucking blue collar guy. I ain't nobody special. I, I got a bad car addiction, so you know, just trying to uh show that you know you could be blue collar and you know still have fun with these cars and you know not need a frame off build or any of that other uh you know stuff that's going around right now you know top five builds and all that stuff like that um kind of in a limbo process right now i built this car in my backyard which was kind of a bittersweet thing it was fun but at the same time you know one of the things i'm keen on with these cars is you know when you put them together you gotta uh you gotta what is the word i'm looking for you gotta preserve them you know what i mean i have uh, many projects and many toys myself this is just one of them um, I have a 92 GMC Typhoon. I have another 96 Impala SS. That's also black. Um, 08 Trailblazer SS. That's also on 26 inch uh, forge wheels. Um, I'm building up my daily driver right now, which is a 04 Duramax. I'm keeping that plain and simple, doing a lot of music in it. Um, you know, like I'm, you know, I'm not a break the bank guy. I like to have fun. I guess I'm trying to, I guess I'm getting cars from my childhood that I always wanted, which is why I'm so big on the older cars. I'm not really a fan of the newer cars. Um, there are a few newer cars I want, but you, the car note you'd be paying on those, you'll also be motherfucking, you know, slowing down on the projects. Um, also got a 97 Chevy Dually, um, you know, crew cab, two wheel drive, of course. I'm always into lower and stuff, not really into lifting stuff. Um, also got a 65 Buick Riviera. Um, so you'll, you'll see all that stuff on my channel, man. I promise I'll have better videos. I'm, I'm a truck driver, um, most of my time. So my videos, you know, you'll see car stuff and then you'll, you know, I'll put videos up on the road when I'm up on the road and stuff like that. Um, you know, man, I just try to have fun, man. I'm kind of in a limbo process right now because I am, a, you know, I'm trying to move. I bought my uh, first house when I was 21 years old, 20 or 21 years old. So in the process now of uh moving you know what i mean um, i love my neighborhood i love my house but uh kind of i'm not gonna say i outgrew I, yeah i did outgrew it I, I did outgrow the house literally my third and fourth bedroom was full of car parts and uh you know just want to you know provide better spaces and upkeeping for my cars and stuff like that so um like i said this is the car that you know it was literally in the front of the yard so i just decided to bring it over here and uh you know shoot a little video for it and just introduce myself, man. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Philly. I live in Central Florida. So, you know, I'm always at Florida Classic, you know. And I just enjoy my stuff, man. Like, you know, I'm not big on the... I mean, I'm anal like everybody else. You know, like, this car needs a paint job, you know. I'll get up on it in a bit and show you what I've done to it and what I still got to get done to it. You know, I'm lazy. Uh, I got a GoPro 10 sitting on a nightstand that I bought five months ago. Never even used it yet. So, I promise you my videos will get better and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to be showing you, you know, more of the cars and all of the cars and stuff like that i'm working on the dually right now um i got a 03 escalade parts truck that i inquired from a friend acquired from a friend um so i'll be taking the interior out of the escalade putting it in the dually the escalades of that year have like a stitch dashboard and you know stuff like that man so just trying to keep it clean with uh you know period correct modifications that you don't see too often i guess you know putting captain chairs in the back of the dually so stuff like that man so um you know uh i'm pretty sure i missed a lot I'm fumbling. This is my first video. I'm very private when it comes to stuff like this, man. But I don't know, man. One of my biggest pet peeves with this YouTube stuff, man, is like I'm not a flashy guy. Like this is this is my attire. So you know what I mean? Um, you know, this this channel will be about everything, man. It'll show you what I do day to day trucking wise. You know, you'll see buddy's cars are mine. My boss has cool cars, you know, just stuff like that. You know, I'll be doing a couple collaborations with a couple of my family members. They have channels as well. Um, and like I said, one of my biggest pet peeves with YouTube, man, is that, uh, you know, you got to have all this money and you got to have jewelry. And, and honestly, I like that stuff. Like, I, I mean, I'm not a flashy guy, so I like to look at it, I guess you would say. But as far as me, nah. But, you know, you can work a nine to five, man, and put your car together and put it together on your budget, man. You ain't got to put it together and 
try to be somebody you're not because trust me that's one thing i ain't i'm a freaking I'm a, just a dude that like cars man so uh you know man it, i'm pretty sure i missed a lot in this video i'll probably try to make another video tomorrow and um show some things that i'll be doing and stuff like that like i'm taking this car to get an alignment i finished this car up about a year ago next month it'll be a year i finished this car up and uh i'm walking around a little bit i'm i'm lazy i don't know what i'm doing y'all but uh you know what I mean? I finished this car up a year ago, man. And it needs a paint job, so it ain't perfect. So don't let this video fool you. I'll get up on its imperfections. I've owned this car for four years. It has 66,000 original miles on it. And uh, I would, I'm more so work and just trying to grow in life is the reason why it's kind of always taking a back seat like most of my cars. Um, because I, I finished it up over a year ago and I still haven't even taken it to go get an alignment yet, which is why that front wheel looks a little crazy. So I'll be taking it tomorrow morning to go get an alignment. I've been off of work for a week. So, uh, you know, just trying to use my time wisely. I might even do a video on my dually too. I just painted the frame on that and stuff like that. You know, trying to have a clean daily driver. So uh, let's check this thing out, man. I go over what I did with it. It's a 96, 66,000 original miles. You see the hood, it's a little, you know what I mean? Honestly, the crazy part about the car is that it actually, it's actually dirty, but it buffs up pretty good. Under the hood's pretty clean. It's got a Wildwood master cylinder on it. Um, powder coated factory control arms. K and N that the previous owner put on there has a Hypertech box. Do not ask me if it makes the car faster. I fucking doubt it. Um, yeah, Wildwood master cylinder and proportion of valve. Uh, polyurethane bushings in the upper control arms. I have a Brand X alternator alternator that I bought probably two years ago. Still haven't put on there yet. So that's my goal is to start messing with this. Um, yeah, it actually buffs out pretty good. My buff guy, or my car detailer, honestly, every year for Classic, he puts a buff on it for me, and the motherfucker shines all weekend. So that's another reason why I haven't been in a rush to paint it. Kind of just been being lazy, and, you know, if I'm going to pay good money for a paint job, I also want the car to be preserved. I'm not going to lie. The car sits in a Shelter Logic 10 by 20 so it does have its share of days where it gets filthy and dirty. I try to wash it once a month when I'm home. Um, you know what I mean? But there's just so many cars, so the goal is, you know, once I move and be able to build my shop or you know the house i'm actually looking at has a shop i'll be able to uh you know preserve the cars a bit better but let's get into it these are 26 inch savinis um that i bought off of a buddy and uh funny part about these wheels is man they're old they're older wheels it's a very it's a S, savini sv20 very older set of wheels it's, these wheels probably came out oh uh, man I, if i had to guess maybe 15 probably earlier than that I got them when they were black, man, and trying to save a buck. I went to my buddy in Tampa, uh, his name's Jimmy. Um, he actually brushed these wheels for me. They were black, and I'll probably upload some pictures and show that. They were black, I had them brushed. I had the barrels literally in my living room. I hand polished them myself, and that's how I got my brush, my first set of three-piece brush wheels. These were not brand new when I bought them. Um, I mean, I paid a decent amount for them because they were in good shape, but uh, you know, I didn't play. I didn't pay that price tag that most people got to pay today. My Trailblazer SS, those wheels were bought brand new and got a pretty good deal on those. But these were used, man. Just put some elbow grease into them. He brushed them for me. He did the inside of the lugs for me black. Um, it has, it does have aftermarket BMR sway bars on it. Everything is powder coated underneath this car. Literally down to the, I mean, the frame is not powder coated, literally, because it's not a frame off, but the stuff that I use is literally like powder coat in a can. It has the Wildwood D52 calibers, very nice budget upgrade, but the upper control arms, lower control arms, spindles, um, all powder coated by Hot Colors, powder coated in Cocoa, Florida. Um, my my steering kit is Pro Forge. I did the Pro Forge steering kit, added my own little pizzazz to it, and did, um, what do you call it? I did the QA1 billet tie rod control on these. It has Bilstein shocks on it. Honestly, when I bought this car, I drove it around the block on the factories and I wasn't gonna put rims on it at first because I said, if I cannot have this car ride the way it rides now, I don't want it. My backing plates, those were redone in silver just to give it a nice look. You can see my rotors getting some surface rust on it. I don't drive the car at all. I literally pull it out the driveway and that's about it. Um, what else did I do to the front? It has the Wildwood brake lines on it. Uh, I'm trying to think. I did heavy duty bearings and stuff like that. Um, what else did I do? That's about it, man. It's a it's a clean, it's a clean backyard build. You look through the wheels, you see a little bit of eye candy. No, it don't have no crazy bear brakes on it. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I am gonna put Camaro brakes on this car, and I am gonna be one of those guys. I'm gonna keep the LT1 in it until <laughs> 
I get a bug up my ass too far, but I will have uh, Camaro four piston brakes on it with stock motor. So I am that guy, but whatever, I'm gonna enjoy it. I am in Orlando, Inc. Uh, shout out to my guys, man. Got a real group of guys that I hang with. You can see the car looks good. The car was painted before. Um, the car isn't perfect, but the car was painted before. Um, standard, you know, size stagger wheels. They are, it's a three inch lip in the front and it's a five and a half length, five and a half inch lip in the rear. Um, my guy Kyle and Lakeland, man, he actually got my wheels on for me. So they look pretty good, man. The car is cut, but you know, it's only cut in the front. Non-extended control arms if you're running 26s, man. I see that debate online every fucking day and I see a bunch of fucking idiots think they know what they're talking about, but they don't. You putting 26s on a bubble, man, no fucking extended control arms. You will literally cut the front and the back of your fucking car. And I can literally swap the trim out on this car and put factory trim back on put the, these are all and they're on this car is on impala ss springs in the rear and i do have a pair of nine c1 springs in the front and honestly i'm taking those out because i don't like the wheel gap that looks fucking terrible so eventually the car have coilovers on them but this is a fucking stock length control arm in the back and impala ss spring it's factory i did the power stop rotors i did put my own little touch on them and did them black with the black faces uh, red factory calibers, BMR sway bar, frame painted by me in the backyard. So this goes to shows, man, you don't need no fucking shop, man, to, you know, I'm going to drive my car, man, eventually, but it's, it's clean, man. For a backyard build, it's clean. Everything's powder coated. Factory SS springs, powder coated, Bilstein shocks, brand new fucking spring isolators. Gotta have the Metcos, man. When I first moved to Florida, man, I've seen all these dunks with Metcos. So I told myself, man, with any B-body I do, man, I'm doing Metcos. That's a muscle. You got a B-body, anybody, man. Get you some Metcos, man. Look how good that frame look, man. That look real damn. And I did all this in my backyard, man, in the 10 by 20 Shelter Logic. So, you know, the car ain't perfect, but it's mine. You know what I mean? I have not done anything to the interior yet. I have Sandman Designs door uh, vents that I got to put in. I got armrest savers from Razbot. I got to put in their color match. I got a color match uh, defroster grill from the Australian interior. It's your typical. It's a it's a little rough, but it's it's clean. You know what I mean? It's clean. I got a brand new dash that my brother gave me for it. When I bought the car off of him, he actually gave me the dash with it. That Florida sun, man, tear your ass up. But it's a clean car, man. Factory CD player car. So, you know, it's, going up. it's a clean car, man. She's clean. So, you know, man, you'll you'll see this one along the journey, man. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, you'll see it in many of my projects. Also got a tank for my man, Alex. I'm from Philly. So, you know, if you are familiar with B-Body Racing, man, you know, a lot of them dudes, Alex, Mike Wall did it on them. Alex, man, he supplied me with my tank, man. So shout out to him, man, for real. Uh, you know, shout out to all my Philly fan, man, that actually fuck with me still. So, uh. You know, it's got a tank in there, factory Cindy unit. It actually cuts off the fuel starvation problem from the factory, so that's pretty cool. But it looks good under there. Uh, other than that, man, the car is styling. I got brand new tail lights in the house. I got to put on it. I'm doing. I like factory stuff, so, so I got a pair of tail lights off of a car with twenty thousand miles that look better than these. Um, definitely putting a lot of music in it. But uh, but other than that, man, this is the introduction to my channel, me. And I promise I'll do a better introduction, man. I promise I'll get better getting behind the camera. I'm camera shy, man. So, you know, but I guess this is the start of a journey, man. You know what I mean? See where we take it from here, man. And, uh, you know, hope to meet new people. Definitely plan on definitely plan on enjoying my life more and going to more car shows and, you know, getting out more and taking a car out more because it, it sits. And uh, definitely can't wait to show off the other rides that I got, man. We got a total of eight cars that we're building and two parts trucks sitting. So, uh. I got some toys, man. So I'm looking to, uh, I'm looking to have fun, man. I'm looking to do it up. So uh, y'all be good, man. And uh, you know, check out my channel, man. I promise I'll try to upload as much as I can, and you know, and quality wise, and you know, any questions y'all got, man, with anything I post, man, feel free to hit me up. I'll throw my Instagram link and stuff like that on my page and stuff like that. I'm real active on Instagram, so uh, you know. Peace out to y'all, man, and uh, thanks for watching. If you do watch, man, thank you.